Hi boys and girls. Um, first of all, th this is a writing video, but I wanna tell you guys how impressed I am with your All About books. I finally had a chance to get in there and get caught up on seesaw grading a little bit. Your last books are amazing. Your, um, your glossary, I'm really impressed with the words that you picked for your last book, um, for your glossary. You guys really knew to pick important words and to put them in the back and give the definition or what that word means for your reader. I mean, you picked great words. So that's the stage we're at in our second All About book today is writing our glossary. Okay, so you guys are already experts on this, but I'm gonna uh, walk you through the process again. So if you forgot, the glossary is the last page of your All About book. And it is a page that's usually at the end of teaching books or nonfiction books. And it tells the reader what some words mean that were in the book. And they are usually the words that are bold that are in the book, okay? So what I did first, I went through and I looked. You could find a word on your table of contents, maybe. I didn't find a word there. You find a word that you think your reader might not know, maybe a big word. So here, can you tell that I made the word poisonous a bold word? I thought that was an important word that my reader might not know what it means and might need the definition of it. So I wrote poisonous in bold, okay? And then you'll see I came back into my glossary and poisonous is the first word in my glossary. So I'm gonna go back in a minute and write a definition or the meaning of that word. Okay, so if I go a little bit further, here on my fact page, I found the word venom. So I thought I would make that a bold word also because I think my reader might need to know what that word means. So I made that bold. And uh, if you go into my glossary, you will see that that is my second word right there. Because I try to put them in order in my glossary of, of how they show up in the text. But um, now that I say that, usually glossaries are in alphabetical order. So you can do it either way um, for today. But they do like to go in alphabetical order. Okay, so patterned was my next word. So I got this word off my diagram, which I don't usually do, but I thought patterned was maybe kind of a tricky word that uh, my reader might not understand when I was pointing to um, my copperhead snake. So I put patterned here. So if I were to write my words in alphabetical order, my P words would come first because the letter P comes before the letter V. And since they're both a P, this one's a PA, this one's a P-O, so actually patterned would be first, and then poisonous, and then venom, if I went in alphabetical order. So you can definitely do that if you want to. And some of you guys are so smart that I'm sure you will. Okay, so now I need to think of good definitions for these words, okay? And it's kind of tricky sometimes to think of how you want to explain the word. So for poisonous, I am going to say that that means that, it, that something contains poison okay and that it's usually harmful okay if something is poisonous like if the drink is poisonous if the chemical is poisonous if the if the animal is poisonous that means it contains poison which is harmful okay so i'm just going to write that contains poison which is harmful okay there we go. Venom, hmm. let's see. I think venom is a poisonous substance that animals have to harm or kill, right? Their prey. So I'm going to say poisonous chemical in an animal. used for hurting or killing prey, okay? Venom. Patterned. If something is patterned, that means that it has a repetitive design or a pattern. So I can't use the word pattern in the definition of the word pattern. So I'm gonna have to change that a little bit. So I'm going to say, hmm, Having shapes or designs that repeat. 
okay? Because our pattern on our calendar, it repeats, doesn't it? And the pattern on my snake, it repeats. It's a design or a shape that happens in a systematic over and over again, right? So much space between. Okay, so we just finished the last page of our All About books. So that means the next day we're gonna get to share them. And then I'm super excited about the next unit coming up. Um, since it's February, we're sneaking in an extra unit on poetry and that's going to start next week, okay?